All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Slime Rancher. So, um, I thought, I thought I, uh, <laughs> I thought I was gonna put this on, uh, on hiatus momentarily. Wait, did something change? I have no idea. Uh, anyway, we wanna, how do we do mail? Mail's in the house, yes? Okay, uh, star mail, I got a bunch. Okay, here we go. But, uh, yeah, so I thought I was gonna put this on a hiatus, and then they updated the game. So I guess I'm gonna d cover the update, and then we'll figure it out. Anyway, Miss Lebeau. Le Lebeau, probably? The 7Z Corporation would like to extend a very special offer to you. An invitation to a very exclusive, exceptionally choice, highly sought-after 7Z Re Rewards Club. The 7Z Rewards Club allows you to earn ultra-premium ranks within the exclusive club for only a semi-ultra-premium price. It's just that easy. Each rank... Grants you a new club title along with rewards such as beautiful, beautiful upgrades for your ranch, exclusive customization options, and more. We look forward to your enrollment. Okay, we also have uh, mail from people. I should probably pull this up, uh, come to think of it. Do we have an easy way of reaching this? Not easily. Okay, fine. Let's just pull it up on, um, on my main screen. So, Slime Rancher got an update. Uh, so what do we got? So there's a 7Z Rewards Club. We'll have to figure out how to deal with that. Uh, they're supposed to be expensive. Uh, as kind of a post-game thing. But that's gonna be a problem. Okay, Chroma Packs. Color customization. Slime Toys. The Docks. New Ranch expansion accessible behind the overgrowth. So Freshwater Pond and a Waterfall. Four empty ranch batches. Seaside View. Bunch of fishing nets. Okay, Gordo Snares. Are a new series of slime science gadgets that you can use to catch your own Gordos. Simply place one down and shoot food into the snare as your bait. If you're lucky and patient, you might snare the Gordo you desire. All while these Gordos offer a few rewards upon bursting, we have the feeling most of you use the snares to acquire some large buddies just to hang out on your ranch. Okay. So what else do we have? Echo Net uh, gadget upgrade to allow you to collect echoes from the runes over time. Okay. Auto feeder, corral upgrade has three settings, that's good. Tank booster ultra, so that's up to 100 units of everything. Star mail has an unro- okay, so that's just for the thing. Coop high walls are higher, reduce the slowdown when fabricating gadgets. Floor collector's manual button now animates, okay. And everything else is just minor. Oh, extractor rare resource drop rates have been doubled. Nice. Okay, so we've got, uh... We've got some stuff. Let's take a look at the rewards thing. So this will give me a Roostro Weather Vane. That's pretty cheap. A Fence Upgrade. Pretty cheap. Path Upgrade. Cheap enough, and now I'm gonna need to go make some money. Okay. Now, did they actually change it so the Plort Prices aren't completely bombing? The answer is no. Plort pi Prices are garbage as usual. Which kind of sucks. Okay. Uh, let's... I guess make some money. Uh, eh. I'm not entirely on the ball here. Okay, question. First and foremost, do we have the tank upgrade? No, we don't. I was hoping we could get the, the bigger tank upgrade sooner than later. But I guess we're gonna have to, I guess we're gonna have to figure it out as we go along. Okay. I might as well feed these guys. They're starting to run out of food. Okay, how do we, how do we do the, this is how we do it. How do we? Okay, so that's how we do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna set the uh, the feed rate to slow. These guys really don't need that much food. I mean, like, look at this. This is kind of ridiculous. Okay. I might as well clean up after them a little bit. Worst comes to worst, we uh, we take all the extras and we throw them at the pink slimes. Problem solved. Okay, so those guys are good. Mint mangoes here are starting to fall. I guess I can rip them off the tree manually. I'm just gonna take them with me and we're gonna go uh, feed some pink slimes, I think. Because we're gonna need some slime science. I mean, mainly what we're gonna need is a lot of plorts. Uh, and we're gonna need a lot of money from it. Oh. Nope, that's, that's still growing. Okay, good. It didn't clear out. Uh, let's see. So, oh, I can personalize my farm with new colors and stuff. Well, that's useful. 
Okay, so the carrot, the carrots are still growing. But then again, uh, even if they weren't, uh, carrots just randomly spawn around here, so it's actually not a big deal if we do end up uh, losing them. Okay, so let's just let's just beat these guys. Now, how much money is it to get the docks over here? Because I don't have much. But okay, it's five thousand. So yeah, let, let's prioritize prioritize getting the docks first because we're gonna need those okay uh how much pink slime okay I guess it has not collected but honestly we're not here for pink slime so it doesn't really matter okay uh let's see so what do we do next I mean honestly let's just go focus on our our rad rad crystals we're gonna need a lot of money I think those guys are the worth the, worst the bleh, worth the most. Ooh, you know I should probably actually consider putting in one of those. Uh, and I've got new mail. I should probably actually read all the mail I've received at this point. Okay, so that's still growing right away. Um, it might be worth getting one of those uh, transfer things at some point, just to just so I can transfer resources to the the selling position. Because we got that thing to drop stuff off for slime science, but... Wait, what am I doing? Okay, these guys probably need to be fed at a medium rate. And there's a fair amount of mo food still just hanging out in there. But still, we'll... F eh, eh. Okay. Oh, well, we've just got enough plorts. Yeah, I'm, I'm in this, like, awkward position in this game where suddenly... Oh, jeez. It just filled up. Uh, let's see. We're in this awkward position where, like, the, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta turn this down a bunch. There we go. These guys need some more food soonish. Um, the price for plorts has been dropping consistently. And so, if I wanna... If I wanna actually, you know, get the 7Z exclusive club nonsense, we're gonna have to burn through a lot of... A lot of plorts here. And the price will just keep dropping no matter what I do, which sucks. Like, originally, what I was planning on doing is uh, stockpiling, like, thousands of, of various plorts of every different variety. And being like, alright, so now that, uh, now that, um, you know, now that the price has finally gone back up, now I'm going to, uh, now I'm just gonna, you know, sell it all at a really high price. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Uh, apparently, prices go low and then they just stay there, which is annoying. Okay, let's grab plorts from these guys, too. Let's see, am I using OC Remix? No, this is this is all Slime Rancher music. I, I'm not listening to anything new or unique, or unique during this series. Honestly, if, if a game has decent music in and of its own, right, I generally won't listen to OC Remix. But if the music is boring and unmentionable, uh, then I will not, uh, I won't, I won't listen to OC Remix at all. Okay. Though, in retrospect, now that I'm thinking about the the music does actually sound kind of, uh, kind of like Stardew Valley's music. Uh, let's see. Well, at least I'm gonna be able to afford the docks real quick. That's good. Upper crust. Whenever it's like, you have tons of money, I always feel like I'm being... Well, I don't know. It's weird. So I'm kind of a... I don't... I personally, like in real life, am not a wealthy person. So whenever I'm playing a video game and it's like, you're exorbitantly wealthy, and I'm like, no, I'm not. Don't... don't patronize me. I know what I am. I don't... I don't need your pity party. It's not actually like that, but still. Okay, so let, let's go see about the docks. I want to take a look at this. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's go take a look. What I'm probably gonna do is fill this entire area with uh, puddle slimes. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, it's not like they escape. I wonder how many you can support. Probably like four. I'll have to go get more. And we've got these like weird stone circles again. There's got to be, like, some... some thing about them, maybe. I don't know. I'm not seeing any secrets immediately available, though. 
There's this, whatever the heck this is. A view of the sea really reminds you of our greater purpose, Beatrix. The sea was the first great unknown, and then space, and then whatever is beyond all that. The need to see what, uh, what's around the next corner is in my bones, and since you're here, I reckon it's in yours too. Though, I suppose you could also be out here because you like the fresh air, or you prefer the untamed beauty of this land. Or maybe it's because you're looking to leave something far behind you. Sure is the way to do it. Doesn't get much further than this. H. Huh. I don't think I've seen any of those before. Okay. Well, that's neat. Honestly, I don't know what to do with this area. It's, uh... It's neat to have, but it, it doesn't really, like, uh, fit into my workflow. I mean, I could... I, in retrospect, it wouldn't be a bad spot to... Oh, hi. Didn't realize I was climbing all the way up here. It wouldn't be a bad spot to, um... To have, like, a... Quantum slimes, maybe. I don't know how much they would es escape. Probably not at all. I don't know. I'm just looking around at this point to see if there's anything uh, extra around here. You know, I've never checked. I wonder if I could have actually gotten in into this section of the uh, the ranch. Like, if I could have gotten into this section of the ranch without actually paying entry, I wonder what would happen. Probably, probably nothing would be a uh, functional. Oh well. Let's, uh, I guess, just head back. I could do more, but like, unless I want to like farm something there, there's really not a whole lot. Like, I'm not even really using this area that much. It's mostly just for this bouncing group of monstrosities. Oh, the carrots have stopped growing. I hate it when it's just like, yeah, we're growing carrots, and then I come back later and it's like, we have stopped growing carrots. And it's like, do it on a harvest by harvest basis, not some dumb time limit. Ah, whatever. Okay. Let's drop that off so everything's good here. I'll keep feeding these guys later. Nice thing is we've put uh, slime science almost entirely on... Uh... Oh, the letters are from the update. They're from the slime rancher before you. Okay. That's neat. Um, I forget what I was going to say. Well, that's okay. Yeah, we, we don't care about slime science right now. That That's the word. Uh... I, we kind of do. What I what I should do is actually make a bunch of gadgets so we can get the black treasure cracker. Uh, since we have some reason to be hanging out and playing this game still, uh, we might as well have a couple of uh, objectives as we go along. So for starters, we wanna we wanna get in uh, fill out the seven Z club. Is that done through here? Yeah, here we are. Okay, so Porsche upgrade. Hello. So Chroma station. And we're out of money again. Well, that's fine. Okay. Uh, we got more star mail from them. Maybe what I will do is... Uh... Hmm. I guess we could... Yeah. I think what I'm going to do... Uh... The heck are you guys up to? I think what I might almost do is just get a bunch of puddle plorts down by the beach. Yeah, let's do that, because they require no management. Like, all I have to do is just leave, what is it, four or is it five? Oh, there's a field that will keep me out. Okay, thanks. Um, if I have a bunch of uh, puddles, uh, puddle slimes just hanging out down there, they'll just uh, passively make plorts for me, and all I have to do is remember to collect them occasionally. Maybe? I don't know. Like, the problem is, uh, we don't have the food production to really justify, like, a large group of anything down on the beach. And so, my best bet is just to set up... Oh, right, I should probably actually be filling out the auto-feeder instead. Yeah, I don't know. I'll think about it. At some point, maybe I'll have an optimum idea here. We just need to make money. Eh, I'm not. I'm not going to try and force every little oka oka out of there. Let's just fill our inventory with what we've got from here, and then I'll go sell again. 
I gotta figure out how to get that hundred, uh, that hundred port tank. Being able to do that would be super handy. Let's see, and they didn't spit anything else. In retrospect, I think I've got some, uh, phosphor bloom ports just hanging out. That I could, uh, sell as well. Okay. Yeah, uh, this is, well, my inventory is full, so I guess I can't do too much with it. Let's see. So yeah, what am I gonna do? Make money. So I don't really have much of a choice here. That's the only thing, well, I guess apart from making gadgets with slime science, that's the only thing that we can do. Okay. I'd love to see what the, uh, the prices of every single thing is. It's a Hilariously enough, the price of pink slimes are actually, uh, pink plorts are actually higher than, uh, than tabbies. Well, I guess that doesn't surprise me too much. Okay. And... I guess I'm just gonna feed these guys heartbeats, just so we can have some extra. Okay, how are we looking here? We're looking okay. I like that animation. I'm glad that they actually did make it animate. It's a nice touch. All right, there we go. Uh, so what were we in the midst of? We were in the midst of making money, probably. Let's see. Let's just let's just rest. Uh, I guess let's check the let's let's check the mail. So Chroma Pack's now available. The 7Z Corporation would like to congratulate you on obtaining the rank of Skylark 1. With this rank, you now have access to a new avenue of creative self-expression, Chroma Packs. Chroma Packs allow you to apply new color schemes to your ranch house, backpack, and ranch tech, allowing you to stand out from all the other ranchers on the far, far range. And will you realize that most slime ranchers never even see another rancher given geographic separation between rancher properties? We have a feeling that they know. Oh yes, they know. Please... Also note that by the time you have likely read this message, the 7Z Corporation has already installed a Chroma Pack terminal just outside your home. 7Z Corporation covertly installing machines outside your home quickly and reliably. 7Z Corporation. Rise and shine, Casey. Hi B, what's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what that's like. 7Z puts you in a pod and then lights out for all that time. Wow. What's the far, far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air as clear as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do. The pics that, uh, of that ranch were pretty run down. I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I'd better leave you to it. Be thankful I didn't send any of the mails I wrote you over the last year. You would have had a whole novel to read when you woke up. I'll keep it short. Good luck, B. If anyone can make it out there, it's you. Okay, and... I mean, it looks like our room's kind of decent. Oh, right, I was gonna sleep. I wasn't just gonna read mail. We're gonna sleep until morning. Okay, so let's return to the ranch. And let's see. Oh, so this is the chroma pack. All right, so let's do cobalt. Tech, cobalt, and vac, cobalt. There we go. Color me impressed. Ooh, yeah, I like. I like this this color scheme. This is this is my jam. All right. Um, I guess I haven't been doing a whole lot of that. Slime science lately. But I should probably do some of it. Okay, you guys are going. I might as well uh, pick up some of these resources. We'll have to replace the, uh, we'll have to replace them soon, but, oh, hello. The first time I went exploring to the moss blanket, I got stuck here. So I constructed a way out. It's just up yonder. Oh, that's kind of nice. Be great if this en game ends up having like a really sinister plot. You actually, like, it switches to JRPG mode halfway through. I'd, I'd love to play a game that hoodwinks you that way. I guess, uh, technically that, that dumb, uh, How to Fool Boyfriend game did that. If you were pursuing the, like, super secret ending, it was, uh... It got weird. Okay, there we go. I should play that at some point, but, ugh. Maybe if I had a bunch of drunk friends handy. That'd be fun. Okay. Just keep grabbing these. I was hoping I'd get uh, another royal jelly, but it looks like no dice. Okay, do I have any apiaries? No, I got some drills, and I got some pumps. 
some point I'll have to uh, go back to slime science. I'm just, just right now, I don't care too much. Uh, is this the depository here? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yes, had a full boyfriend. It's uh, it's a weird kind of parody dating sim where you uh, you romance birds. It's dumb. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know how to how to describe it apart from the fact that it's like. I don't think I've ever played a game as silly as as it in concept that like tries to take itself seriously. Eh, maybe, maybe I have. I don't know. Whatever. It's just a st really stupid game. Nice and meet me though. I think they actually made like a. I think they actually made a sequel to it of all things, which I don't think I would ever play. I don't know. Like the the problem is like I could see myself playing it with a bunch of drunk friends, but on my own, hell no. The only dating sim I guess I, I will play is that weird dinosaur one that I played a while back. That was actually kind of amusing. Then it got kind of boring. And then it got real, and then that was extra dumb. There needs to be more, like, joke. Uh, there, there need to be more, like, joke dating sims out there. I guess there's that, like, weird one that's gonna be out sometime? Uh, where you're romancing a fridge, but I have no idea. I have no idea if that actually is it even a thing, or if it's just like kind of a side project those guys are working on. I oh shoot, my my uh, inventory is full of carrots. Well, uh, let's see. I guess we don't need to do this that badly, but it will save me. Well, I don't know. Whenever we go back to slime science, I'd like to be prepared. Okay, there we go. And let's grab the rest of these. Luckily, I don't need to care if I screw up too much. Oh, there's Garrett. And honestly, I'm just, I, I'm just kind of playing this game for, for relaxy's sake. I could, I could probably have taken it very seriously. But what's the point of that? Okay, we good? Yep, we're good. Let's dump that off. We've got like one carrot left. And how many plorts is that? Oh yeah, we're maxed. We should probably start uh, dropping this off. How many uh, carrots does each harvest give? 20. Uh, so I get about 60 carrots per day uh, from this section alone. Plus uh, whatever other things I want to like cram in. Let's see. Wonder what is your favorite game? Um... Probably Hollow Knight. Like, originally I was a really big fan of Bastion. Bastion was, like, my number one. Uh, Bastion and uh, Thomas Was Alone were amazing. But I think Bastion took over. Uh, just because... Or not Bastion, Hollow Knight took over just because of how good of a game that was. I don't think... It's gonna be a while before I play something that's, like, that quality, which is unfortunate. Let's see. There's a lot of other games that I, I really enjoy. But I think that one will stand out for a while. Let's see, what game do I think impacted me the most? Ooh. I don't know. Probably, as silly as it sounds, probably Fantasy Star Online. Uh... I played that when I was a kid, and it was magic. It was probably one of the first sci-fi games I ever played. And it, uh... It, like, it hit me right in the childhood. Really, uh... Really hard? I don't know how to describe it apart from, like... I was bananas for that game. It, it uh... It's where, like, I developed my love for, like, robot. Uh, like, robotic things, and so on and so forth. You know, kind of the, the general aesthetic. And so I've always been, um... I've always been particularly uh, big into that sort of thing after playing that game. It's a shame that they've kind of always just uh, squandered uh, the. Uh, they've kind of, I guess I'm gonna say, squandered the the series. Like they've got Fantasy Star Online too, but I think it's Japanese only, unless they're maybe bringing it. I don't know. See, so whatever speed run Digimon World Next Order. Nope. I haven't even finished Digimon World Next Order. I need to get back to that. That'll probably be my project for tomorrow. I've been writing a lot lately. 
uh, as just kind of a, a means of, I'm not gonna say keeping sane, but like, I work a lot. Um, and it gets kind of stressful after a while. And uh, so to like kind of keep myself distracted uh, from how much work I have to do, uh, I've been playing a lot of, uh, or not playing a lot, I've just been writing. Uh, just as a kind of a fun thing and eventually, you know, maybe I'll actually like release it somewhere. Um, but... But like, I, I just have not been doing things midday anymore. Which means pretty much what you see is what you get if you're watching the live streams. Okay. Right. Digimon sad. I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna finish Digimon. Maybe sooner? Maybe later? I don't know. Like, I'd like to- I'd like to play it. It's just the last time I streamed Digimon, it was just like, you have 30 people watching you, and I'm like, okay, I'll just do this off-camera. It was also one of those where I just had to do more grinding, which is... Ugh. I don't mind grinding, but I almost wish uh, there were ways to, like, automate it after a certain point. Okay, so I do have a lot of money here. Uh, let's collect what we can from these guys. Because in retrospect, their they're things starting to fill up again. We could actually consider restocking some of the slimes. Just so we have some more. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. We've got little bits. I'd swear I've never had to replant these things. No, I have. I have. I just forget. It'd be nice if you could put like mini storage silos near nearby or something. That'd be nice. Just so you don't have to like take up a whole uh, slot on the farm. Okay, how much are we looking at? That's a lot. Ow. Bleh. Okay, there we go. That's been nice writing. Unfortunately, uh, one of the issues I have with uh, trying to write is I'm a complete amateur. You know, I've never really written much before and uh, I definitely wasn't writing anything while I was in college. Um, which, I mean, wasn't really a big deal. But now that I'm, like, trying to actually write, you know, something that has a cohesive plot and story and characters and stuff like that, I'm like, shit, you know, how do I, how do, I do, like, proper syntax? How, how do I not make the characters completely, you know, uh, uh, how do I make the characters actually, like, interesting and not just, like, boring one-dimensional people that nobody nobody likes and so on and so forth and it's like this this weird process of like sitting down and just being like shit I don't I don't know what I'm doing here and with stuff like uh with stuff like youtubing you can kind of just uh you can just kind of wing it okay arch upgrade I don't know what that's gonna do ooh new colors and a slime toy shop and more okay so they've got even more like that uh, let's see so let's try grape shot what's grape shot look like Nee. What about Firecracker? Ooh, Firecracker's even better. Let's go Firecracker. I was not informed that there was a nice orange in there. Yeah, I'm digging that. That looks nice. The other ones. But yeah, it's um it's just a, a weird challenge that I've I've never had to come across because, you know, usually I just either wing it or I know what I'm doing. And now I'm just like, I, I can wing this, but I know it's going to be bad, so I've got to I gotta kind of rein myself in here and and make sure that I'm like editing and proofing and stuff like that. Luckily, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of websites out there actually to facilitate uh, writings, make it a lot easier. Um, so like uh, one website literally just uh, goes over like sentence structure and stuff like that. And it's like, you use these words too much this sentence doesn't make sense, and I'm like, I don't know how a program's telling me this shit, but, like, the fact that they are is just such a, such a convenient little thing for me. Uh, let's see. Maybe map it out, then write. So, part of the problem is, like, I can only write so many notes before I start, like, rewriting things. Um, it's easier for me to put one, one foot after the other than to... Where am I going? I guess let's go uh, check out the mines. I should... Let's stop by the slime science thing and see if I can reproduce some more... Um, uh, if I can make some more apiaries here. Uh, let's see. 
But, um... The problem is, like, if I don't actually start writing anything, I... I don't get the practice that I actually need. You can develop a character as much as you want, um, and they still might never be interesting, just because you don't have the skill to write. And so for me, by, uh, by actually just sitting down and doing it, at the very least, I'm not going to be shit at it. Also, holy shit, I have a lot of these. Oh! They reduced the price of the pumps! So now it's only 20 pink ports. Oh, that's incredibly useful. Well, in that case, let's buy a ton. That's super helpful. Let's see, build a literal map for the plot. I've considered that, actually. Uh, mapping would be really fun. Oh shit, I should probably go get some more pink ports. Now that I'm thinking about it, we're gonna, we're gonna need them. Oh well, um, yeah, nice part is I can make a bunch of decorations. Uh, we wanna get a certain amount of structures built so we can do, um... Yeah, let's do the pink slimes first, just in case the, uh, the mines drop something rare. Let's see, what is this writing program? Uh, shoot. I don't remember the name of it, actually. Um, oh, hello, what the fudge biscuits are you? Oh, neat. Oh, this is adorable. Yeah, what's the slime toy shop? I didn't even notice this until I went by. Uh-oh. There it is. I mean, on one hand, it's adorable that there's a rubber ducky now. On the other hand, it is not a pretty rubber ducky. Okay, let's let's grab the puddle plorts. We need to, We need to go get some more, um... I think we need... You get five, right? Is it four or five? Is it for grammar-ish? I gotta. Re I, I don't remember the name of it. Uh, if you ask me when I'm between games, I will. I can look it up. I mean, I guess I could look it up now. Let's just look it up now, uh, just so we get it out of the way, just in case anybody asks me about it. It is uh, prowritingaid.com. It's like a free tool, um, and what you do is you just copy and paste stuff over, and uh, and it's just like you're reusing this too much. This is a, These are cliched phrases and stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm glad to be, uh, uh, picking up amateur writing in a day and age where a machine can tell me you're a fuck-up. Apparently I'm actually not as bad as I think I am, but still, you know, you know how it is. Let's see, can we get some, uh, yarn for the tabulargos? Oh, yeah, we could actually. I'll, I'll toss some toys in there, uh, momentarily. I just wanted to manage the pink ports and whatnot. While we're, while we're moving. Yeah, there, there's always, like, a bunch of other websites, too, that are equally good. Oh. Did I already feed these guys the, um... Did I already feed these guys the mint mangoes, or was I just, like, completely zonking it? I have no idea. Well, it doesn't matter. We'll just toss it over here. Um, but yeah, there's, like, an insane amount of tools out there for it now, which is really nice. Not that it really matters. I mean, mostly this is just a hobby, fun project for me to, for me to do to, uh, you know, make it so I'm not like just video game man all day every day. Main problem is I need to I need to find a better writing program. I use uh, Google Docs, and it's uh, it just doesn't have the right like feel. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter that much. But yeah, it is fun. It's also actually really surprising how much uh, I can write. I think I've written like uh, 30, 40 pages. I'd actually written like a couple hundred pages uh, about a year ago. But after a while I was just like, nope, this is bad. Let's uh, let's toss this all out and start over again. 